All right. So, Miss Bugsby was amazing. Um, she already came with a, with a good number of skills. And so, um, I'm just gonna run through everything that she knows and that we've worked on. Some I know you already have worked on. So let's just put it all together into a little puppy portfolio. All right, so obviously as we're moving around here, come, come. She's happy to just do a default sit. All you need to do when you're asking her for a sit, you can either ask for it, but even just your little bit of a change in body posture, and you can see she sits, no problem. No big deal, it's just a polite thing that she does all the time, and I just love that. Uh, next is gonna be a down. I don't know what your cue is, I wanna distinguish between, you know, stay for a lot of people is this. So I try to use two fingers just because it's a little different for the dog to look at. It looks, they won't confuse the two signals. So I ask for down, all the way. Yes, good girl. Very nice, very, very nice. I find that sometimes it's difficult for her to stay in a down position. That's a weak link right at this moment that we've been working on. Good girl. Good girl, come, come, sit. But she does have a beautiful sit stay, Bugsby stay. And my cue for the stay, as with many people, is again that traffic cop signal stay. Um, she just will stay and stay until she hears the magic word, which is free. Yeah, good girl. You're amazing. You are amazing, yes. Let's see if she can do a down stay just for, because we've been working on it a little bit. Here we go. Ready? Sit. Good. Down. Good. Bugsby, stay. Free. Yeah, good girl. I just love the way she just scrapes the ground. She really digs in her heels to get as fast and as far as she can. You're amazing. Um, for the jumping up, I want to show you what that looks like. Um, she's so friendly and she's so social that when she meets people, she tends to, oh, good girl, she tends to jump up. So what I am doing when I um, am asking her for space, I'm asking her to, this space exists all the way around me in a personal bubble, essentially, and I don't want her to get past that and jump on me. So I'm going to, uh, the first way that I teach that is by letting her know with my body posture, that's as close as I want you to come. So as we move around, yes, let's move around a little bit. Do, 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 space. And you'll see she gives me that room and she's so polite, she gives the beautiful sit. I don't necessarily need that sit, but I am looking for the distance and all feet on the ground. Ready? Come on, come on, come on girl. Space, that's it. Oh, she's kind of behind me, I don't know if you can see. Anyway, that distance all the way behind me, to the side, whatever, it goes all the way around. Ready? Come on, good girl. Yeah. <gasps> Space. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Just that, just that uh, keeping all four feet on the ground is beautiful. So remember that body posture at first, space. Later on, you don't have to make it such a big, uh, a big motion. Sit down, stay. You saw the loose leash walk. Um, she comes, oh, I sent you the recall video. Uh, oh, I want to show you relax on a mat briefly. Um, relax on a mat teaches her how to relax her own body parts on cue. And that cue is a visual mat. So let me show you what that looks like. There. Now what I'm asking her to do is, again, this is the visual mat. I take a deep breath. And that's the cue for us to begin this game. And the game is that she learns to, uh, that she's relaxing her body on cue. She just lies down, puts her chin down, and just kind of melts. Yes, we have snacks. We have snacks. Yes. So I'm going to have my treats out, and I'm going to take a deep breath. And you can see she folds down into that down. And she'll start to press her chin down on my leg. 
Yes, like that. You also see she's already kind of got this curvy, you know, the curvy, uh, the curve of her spine essentially, which says that she's all kind of rocked over on this hip. Um, so I love to see that as opposed to a really straight down. She's kind of rocked over. I like, I like to see their tails kind of stretched out. Her leg is a little stretched out. So now, yes, that's what I'm treating for is that putting her head down in my lap. Let's see if we got food there. Let's move that. <sighs> yes. And I would just start asking for that longer and longer. Right now, my criteria is just for her to hold it for five seconds. I'm going to take a deep breath. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to feed her. But you can start to build that longer and longer duration. But it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful behavior. And you can take that places. It's lovely to put her out on the front porch, for example, and sit. Just have her practice relaxing with uh, all the passing cars and all the things going on, dogs passing and what have you. It's just a great behavior. It's really, really good. So that's relax on a mat. And then the last one I want to show you is a leave it, which means I'm going to put the food right in front of her face. And it's her job to turn away from it. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll get that out of the way. All right, so I've got this food here in my hands. Oh, it's so good, and I'm gonna make it so you can see. All right, and I'm gonna put that right in her face with my hand kind of closed, she's interested in it. Leave it. Yes, good girl, you're amazing. You're amazing. Let's do one more. Yes, leave it. Good girl, you're so good. I'm gonna miss this doggy so much. She's such a good girl. Yeah, you're amazing. All right, thank you so much.